wanna show ya what I know. Break it free from the mainstream, the studio machine. I want it my way. Indie film nation. I want it my way. Indie film nation. Going all the way. Indie film nation. You know it's gotta be. Indie film nation. Hi, Sue Lawson here for Indie Film Nation. Joining me today from Sundance Film Festival is Peter Callahan, the writer and director of Against the Current. It is premiering here at Sundance. It is his first film here at Sundance, second film that he's that he has directed and written. Um, I'm very excited about it. Peter, tell me a little bit more about the film. Uh, it's a drama starring uh, Joseph Fiennes as a man who sets out to swim the entire length of the Hudson River and uh, he recruits two friends to ride beside him in a boat. It's not really a, about swimming, it's really more of a road trip movie and it's about friendship and it's just this slow journey down the river. It's got kind of a Huck Finn feel. Um, there's some light moments. Totally eccentric, I like it. Then come with us. You're swimming in New York City? You folks done much boating before? It starts with a key, right? Yeah. Is it gonna go along like this? What would you prefer we do? Stop the trip. Take him to a hospital. Get him committed or something. But there's some real, you know, heavy duty topics dealt with. It's a drama, but with comedy. Now, how did you come up with the idea? What was the genesis? You know, I grew up on the Hudson River and I swam across it once and, you know, it was just kind of mixing elements of my life with my imagination. I'm, I'm curious as to what you shot on. We shot on uh, Super 16. That's pretty amazing for your second film. Did, did you also, sh also shoot Super 16 for your first? I uh, shot on 35 for the first. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, you are definitely a film person. <laughs> I, I do prefer film, yes. There's something about the clarity of it. Are you you're a purist that way? Yeah, I mean, the, the video stuff is getting better and better all the time. And uh, But yeah, I mean, film is the preferred medium still for most of us. Now, I have a question about the... the the characters you have, or I should say the actors. You, you actually managed to get some big name actors in your right. film. Uh, it's Joseph Fiennes, Justin Kirk from uh, Weeds, Michelle Trachtenberg, Gossip Girl, and Mary Tyler Moore, and Elizabeth Reeser. So uh, they're all great actors. They've all done a bunch of stuff, and I'm really happy with that cast. How were you able to do that? I mean, it, it is still rare for an independent filmmaker to, to be able to get that type of heavy hitting talent? You know, it's just, a lot of actors are looking for good material. You know, they maybe they have enough money or maybe they're bored doing Hollywood stuff and you know, had good producers who, uh, you know, raise finance and you could reach out and put the project together. You know, if you have a good script and you have a viable project, you can get name actors. How long was your shooting schedule? It was 22 days, which was incredibly short for a movie with, you know, a lot of it set on water. Now, what were, aside from the weather that you couldn't control, what were some of the challenges that you faced? Or is that the biggest challenge? The, it wasn't even the weather. The weather we got fairly lucky on. It was just shooting on water. You know, you can't, the boats are moving around. You know, they have a mind of their own. You know, you put a boat on a, a moving body of water and you're trying to set up a shot and forget it. You know? Would you do it again, or what did you learn from those experiences? Uh, you know, I, I, yeah, I would do it again. It was crazy and, and difficult, but you know, it was it was fun too. It was a fun challenge. Now, when you got the call saying that your film was accepted at Sundance, you know, it's it's a it's a great feeling to uh, have that validation. This is really you know the premier place for American independent cinema. So, uh, you know, it's just, it's, it's nice to have that recognition and it's nice to come here where people really enjoy film and really care about it and care about alternative cinema to just Hollywood junk. So, it's a great feeling. What's your plans next? What's, what's next for you? Well, uh, we're hoping to find a dis distribution, get it into theaters, you know, and uh, I have a couple other projects I'd like to do. Terrific. Is there a website where people can go to get more information about the film? Uh, yes, it's againstthecurrent.net, and we also have a Facebook page, uh, just, you know, Against the Current. And uh, you can catch, you know, all the up latest updates, read a little bit more about the film, see some uh, behind-the-scenes photographs and stuff, so go check it out. Yo, what, and what the f*** 
It's so funny. Why are you smiling? You want a hug, Ace? I don't want a f hug, man. I want to get to the meeting, man. Joining me today at Sundance Film Festival, Park City, Utah, is Kari Jones. He is the writer, director, and editor of one of the shorts that is premiering here. It's called Hug. It's also going to be available on iTunes. It's absolutely amazing. It's one of the 10 films that iTunes has selected with Sundance to go ahead and show for free for a limited time. <laughs> limited time. After that, you will have to pay for it, but it will be worth it. Kari, thanks for joining me. Tell me about the film. Uh, thanks for having me. Um, well, Hug is about a guy who wants a hug. I, think I, was, I was telling you that uh, he's uh, it's about a guy named Drew, who's a manager. Um, uh, he and his manager are on their, are on their way to uh, a meeting for to, to, to sign a contract. And it, as it turns out that today, um, you know, Drew the artist, he's, he's bipolar. And unfortunately, he's in the midst of a manic episode. And today he's convinced, with, convinced by the, the idea that if he can get a hug from his sister, who, by the way, he's estranged from, um, his, you know, his condition will be cured. So um, from that premise, you know, and the fact that his sister Hollis will not give him a hug, um, will not give him what he wants, um, the whole conflict, the whole plot sort of unravels. So what were the challenges that you faced when it came to, to coming up with the idea to begin with? Because you came up with the idea, you wrote it yourself, and then you decided that you would do pretty much all of the work on it as well. My cinematographer, you know, Aaron Kovalchik is and he's, this is the second film that we've we've worked on and you know, he's my absolute sort of uh, partner in this project. Also my uh, producer Constant Kansna and, and the actors do a phenomenal job. Uh, but when it was just me in my apartment with a uh, with an idea and a script, you know, you know, it was 15 drafts before we um, before we got to the point where I thought that it was something that was worth spending any money on. How did you come up with the idea? I keep an idea book. You know, anything, any images, any sort of like bits of like you know uh, conversation that I overhear, I, I try, try to write it down. And um, some some of those things never become my story. Some some of those uh, bits of conversation become um, actual lines of dialogue. Uh, but it's uh, it's it's just a process of like starting with like a germ of some, finding a germ of something and taking it from there. Now, what did you shoot on? Nuts and bolts time. What did you shoot on? Uh, we shot on uh, the uh, HDX 900, uh, and we shot with uh, an adapter that allowed us to uh, attach, you know, 35 millimeter primes and zooms. Um, um, and the, the the tape format, if you want, is a DVC Pro HD 1080i 5994. <laughs> so, yeah. And what did you post? Um, we posted on. Well, it was 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 what was great about that is that for the the first screening was in was projected in the the, the native DVC Pro HD. Um, since then we project we've uh, at Sundance we're projecting in um, HD cam. So, were there particular challenges that you faced either in the production or post production side of things? Well, we we had a it's a it was a short film, so we had a four day four and a half day shoot planned. The sec at the end of the second day, we heard rumors that there was going to be an ice storm <laughs> the next day. And it wasn't as bad as we thought it was, but we still ended up, can it caused us to cancel our third day, which meant that our fourth day was, uh, was quite, quite intense. Um, long day? <laughs> long day. I mean, I learned, um, I mean, as a student filmmaker, you learn uh, a lot about how to condense your shots, how to sort of on the fly, sort of make things work, how to get performances from your actors in a pinch. Um, but it, it was, you know, we, we, it, it, it was, we were, I think, stretching it to begin with to sort of uh, compress the shoot into four and a half days. Um, you know, we, and at that, the, the day that we finally, that our last full day of shooting was the coldest day of the year. I started making films just um, with a few friends and um, I'll keep making films with, uh, for, for, Films that I think people will get a kick out of, um, films that will, um, you know, someone might be inspired by. Kari Jones, his film is Hug. It's here at Sundance. It's available online for a limited time at iTunes. If people want more information, is there a website they can sure, go to? They can um, go to uh, hugthemovie.com. Kari Jones, Sue Lawson, Indie Film Nation. Thanks. Got it.